Hi, I'm going to talk about hyperkalemia now. What is hyperkalemia? That is more than 5.0 MEQ per liter. Now, hyperkalemia. Why would someone get hyperkalemia? So that is more potassium, right? So we're going to remember it by cats. Now, let's think about it. If there's more potassium, right, why would someone have more potassium? Well, it might be because they're taking diuretics that um, are sparing of potassium, so they're not letting the potassium be excreted, or the, uh, the potassium can exit the, the body. So diuretics such as um, aldactone may cause it. Now, also, excess of salt substitutes can cause it too. And D is for decreased potassium um, excretion. That might happen because of renal failure. Just remember, every time there's hyper of something, it might be because of renal failure. Because uh, the kidneys may not be able to excrete these electrolytes. So remember by cats. Hypokalemia was cats. Hyperkalemia has an E, like here. So it's cats. Now... Uh, what does someone that has hyperkalemia look like? Or what are the, the problems they could present? Well, we could look at this guy. I'm think of murder. We know that when someone, is, a prisoner, is supposed to be killed, they give them potassium. So potassium is very strong, and he has a lot of uh, side effects, such as cardiac arrest, as we can see. So M is going to be for muscle cramps. So hypokalemia is muscle weakness. But hyperkalemia is going to be muscle cramps. U is going to be for urine, which is not going to be that much. It's not going to be, if anything, it will be anything. So oliguria or anuria. So no urine. R is for going to be for respiratory distress, such as in, um, I mean, it also happens in hypokalemia. Now D is for going to be decreased contractility of the heart. Now, the heart is still sleepy. It can't work as well. So, it's not going to pump that much blood, which is we can cause the person to be tired and to have that those problems, uh, as, as well as dysrhythmias. Uh, dis now, E is for ECG changes. As you can see here, there's going to be a lot of changes uh, that can be dangerous. And R is for going to be for the re reflexes that are decreased. So we have to watch for hyperreflexia as well. Now, what do we want to do to help someone who has hyperkalemia? Well, they can't have bananas or potatoes because those are high in potassium. So we have to teach them. Uh, we, we should try to do it before they get hyperkalemia because hyperkalemia can be very dangerous. Also, since the heart can't contract very well, we have to watch for that. And the uh, intestines have hypermotility, so they're going to be working very hard. So we have to watch bowel sounds and neurostatus also as well as the brain. So, just remember cats are murdered for hyperkalemia. That's it. I'm Bella Megoria, a nursing student from RCC College.